Welcome to Japan English News Quick Scan. Today's headlines. Heavy snow forecast for Kanto, including central Tokyo. Heavy snow is expected to hit Tokyo wards and other areas of the Kanto Kaushin region on February 10th and February 11th, and the Japan Meteorological Agency is urging caution against traffic disruptions. The agency said a low pressure system that will form off the Tokai region will develop and move eastward on those two days, while a cold air mass is expected to move south toward the Pacific Ocean side of eastern Japan. U.S. European business leaders urge Japan to end COVID entry ban. Business and education leaders from U.S. and European organizations on Wednesday urged the Japanese government to end its COVID-19 entry ban for non-resident business visitors and scholars, warning that the ban not only hurts Japan's economy but also risks the loss of future talent. The entry ban has really imposed an increasing economic and human cost and has set back the efforts to revive Japan's economy, said an advisor to the American Chamber of Commerce in Japan. Princess Yoko, hospitalized with COVID, develops pneumonia. A Japanese princess infected with the coronavirus has developed pneumonia, the Imperial Household Agency said Wednesday. Princess Yoko, 38, the first COVID-19 patient in the Imperial family was transferred to the University of Tokyo Hospital from a hospital inside the Imperial Palace, the agency said. Olympics, Sarah Takanashi apologizes on Instagram for disqualification. Sarah Takanashi took to social media to apologize to her teammates and fans over a suit violation that kept the Japanese ski jumping mixed event team off the medal podium at the Beijing Olympics. Takanashi, 25, posted a message on February 8 to her Instagram account, a day after her outstanding first jump the day before was thrown out and the Japanese team finished fourth. Legal Issue Delays Olympic Team Figure Skating Medal Ceremony The Beijing Olympics medal ceremony for the figure skating team event involving Japan has been delayed due to an emerging legal issue, the International Olympic Committee said Wednesday. The ceremony to award the Russian Olympic Committee the gold medal was due to take place Tuesday evening, with the United States and Japan on the second and third steps of the podium, respectively. Honda sales, profit drop amid rising costs, chip shortages. Honda's profit dropped 32% in the last quarter as rising material costs and a shortage of computer chips hurt the Japanese automaker. Honda Motor Company's profit for the three months through December totaled 192.9 billion yen, down from 284 billion yen the year before, the Tokyo-based company said Wednesday. Quarterly sales slipped 2% to 3.7 trillion yen. South Korea's Hyundai returns to Japan car market with green vehicles. South Korea's Hyundai Motor Company will re-enter the Japanese passenger car market this year. 12 years after leaving the market dominated by domestic car makers, betting on demand for its eco-friendly cars. Hyundai Mobility Japan Company will start taking orders for the Ionic 5 electric vehicle and Nexo fuel cell vehicle from May for delivery beginning in July. Roller coaster at Universal Studios Japan comes to emergency halt 15 meters above ground. Some 30 passengers on a roller coaster at Universal Studios Japan, USJ in this West Japan city were left stranded about 15 meters above the ground after a sensor triggered an emergency stop on February 9th. No injuries were confirmed in the incident that brought the 32-seat flying dinosaur roller coaster to a halt at the theme park in Osaka's Kanohana Ward. Drive My Car wins Oscar nomination for Best Picture Director Ryusuke Hamaguchi's Drive My Car entered cinematic history by becoming the first Japanese film to win an Oscar nomination for Best Picture. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, which hosts the Academy Awards, announced February 8 that the movie received four nominations, including one for Best International Feature, at the 94th Academy Awards. Thank you for listening. See you tomorrow.